Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game for Scratch. Today, we're talking about Rider. We're actually talking about Rider again. Just yesterday, we were talking about it for Unreal Engine. And a part of that is Rider is being positioned as the IDE from JetBrains for game development. And one thing I've never covered on this channel is that you can actually use Rider with the Godot game engine. So that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at using the Rider IDE to create and debug Godot code, specifically C Sharp code in Godot. So there's a couple of things you're going to need. First off, you're going to need Rider, obviously. It is available over here. We find it at uh, jetbrains.com forward slash writer. Don't worry, I will link all the linked stuff down below in the linked article. Uh, but be aware, I'm going to be using the for Unreal Engine just because I have it downloaded, but there's it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So that's the first thing you're going to do. Also, by the way, if you are contributing to an open source project and or if you are a student, uh, they have uh, special licenses available. You can actually get free license to all of the JetBrains stuff if you contribute to an open source project. They have an application form to do that. So if you are a Godot contributor or something to that effect, uh, do be sure to try that. Check that out. You can get the stuff for basically free. So the next thing you're going to need to do is grab the Godot engine support. This is available at plugins.jetbrains.com. Again, I will link directly to this particular plugin, so you don't need to search for it. But if you go to that root directory, search for Godot, you will find this guy. This is the C Sharp plugin. The cool thing you might notice is this plugin is actually developed and maintained by JetBrains themselves. So uh, Godot support is very much a first-class feature of the Rider game engine. Oh, I was losing my voice there. Sorry, the Rider IDE. Uh, so that's available. By the way, there is another one available. Uh, it's just GD script support. Uh, this is for all of the IntelliJ IDEs, and that's one of the nice things with the uh, Riders. It's based on the IntelliJ IDE platform. So you can switch between them and really know what you're doing. So you can go to IntelliJ, you can go to WebStore, you can go to CLine, you can go um, PyCharm, etc. They make a ton of different IDEs across all platforms for pretty much all programming languages, even Go. Um, so um, this plugin supports most of them if you're doing just GD script development. Coincidentally, it's this one that we we're looking at today. But if you want syntax highlighting, code completion, etc. for GD script, that option is out there as well. And then um, if you're not into the whole writer thing, but you want to use an IDE for C-sharp development with Godot, I've also done a video on Visual Studio Code. I will link that as well. But we're talking today about writer, so let us jump in. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do, obviously, is get a project that we're going to debug. So I'm just going to fire up Godot here and create a new project and call it YouTube Demo. And of course, that is going to be in temp because that's where everything is created. Create that folder, create and edit our project. All right, so there we go. So we set up the Godot project. We're going to create a simple 2D file, uh, 2D project. We'll add a sprite into our world. We will attach a script to our sprite like so. Uh, by the way, if, if this is all completely new to you, don't worry. I have full tutorial series on working with the Godot game engine. So. I don't mean to cover anything that you don't already know here. All right, so I just created a script. You can see it's right here. I'm just going back. We'll save our node right there, and we will run our game projects to make sure we've selected our primary scene and that everything is set up and going. There we go. So we got a game to work with. Only one step left to do in the Godot game engine, and that is to come up here, and we'll go Project, Project Settings, and then we will go over to Mono, or I guess down to Mono right here, find the debugger agent, and turn it on. This is on a project by project basis, by the way, so you're going to have to do that every single time you create a new project. All right, so we're ready to debug, and we're good to go. Now we just need to fire up uh, Rider. All right, so you'll see this is Rider for Unreal Engine. That's just because I got the preview installed. Normal Rider will work just fine. Just, again, happens to be what I've got going on. So head on back over here for a second. I never actually told you to do this. With this Godot support, go ahead and do a git. This will download a zip file that we need in just a second. And now we're going to head back over to Rider. All right, so here we are. We're going to open up our solution. That's the cool thing is when you create a project in the Godot game engine, such as YouTube demo, you'll notice it creates an SLN file. Those solution files are Visual Studio files that Rider is also capable of reading. And here we go. We are now in Rider. I'm not going to talk specifically about Rider that much. I've done a couple of videos on it in the past. It's a great IDE. It's customizable. It's got plugin support, as you're seeing right now. It's themable. It gives you these neat little code tips, like telling you that uh, Windows Defender sucks. Uh, over here, we come down. Here is the code that we created earlier on right there. So pretty typical. Uh, the nice thing here is you are getting full IntelliSense completion. At the same time, it is uh, Godot aware. It understands the namescapes and such that we are working with. So we got our starting point right here. We're going to do a very simple file here. So just go GD print and then hello world. By the way, this kind of params thing, you can turn that off if you want. So that's actually a key coming in from uh Godot script itself, it's figuring out that the what to print kind of thing is the being passed in. If you don't like this approach, all that kind of stuff can be easily turned off. You'll also notice over here, we've got little tips. So um, we can 
do inspections, c- generate some code, and so on. Uh, you're going to find all kinds of things like that for smart handling of things. Over here, we're going to now go in and, and enable our um, Godot support. So come in here, go to Settings, and then what you want to do is locate Plugins. And it's not going to be installed by default, so what you're going to do is go to this guy right here and say install plugin from disk and then you're going to grab that file you downloaded which should be right here so rider godot and then a date and then you unfortunately got to restart the ide so let's go ahead we'll restart Okay, so now I'm going to open my project back up. We now have full Godot support going on here. So I could go ahead up here and go to attach to player. And if the inst- uh, here, let's let's give this guy a second to run whatever it's running and warn me about Windows Defender sucking. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, where's my Windows Defender suck? Maybe it only does that once. Nope, there it is. All right, so now we're set up, ready to go. If the plugin is installed correctly. You should be able to drop down here and see the Godot logo with the start and debug profile. I'm just going to switch over to that, and then we'll click this little bug guy here, debugging guy, and you'll see it automatically launches it up. And uh, yeah, that's kind of uh, the idea here. So you can run your project that way. Now, the most important thing here, so obviously you're getting code completion, you're getting syntax highlighting and all that stuff, but even more important, I can go ahead and set a breakpoint there. And now we'll go ahead and run our code. And then boom, our breakpoint is hit. You can see here we've got watches. We can jump in, look at, inspect our variables and so on. So the full debugging experience is available here. You've got the ability to jump in, to jump over and so on. Uh, so I'm going to just do a jump out. And you're going to see it actually kicks into uh, a decompiler uh, and automatic. So we're in the Godot task scheduler. Now you can kind of dig through the, the C-sharp code that's being used behind the scenes. You do have to agree to a disclaimer here that you're not a, an elite hacker uh, when you first enable this, but it gives you kind of a bit more of an insight of what it's going on and you can just keep drilling down now this this doesn't get that exciting <laughs> or of course you can just do a continue so uh, or jump out but that is kind of the process we can head on back over here again turn our breakpoint off we can stop debugging over here so you're getting full integration in here you've got live watches and inspections into all your variables and it is really easy to set up basically you just turn on the uh, the plugin and then you go over here and start and debug as your setting and then you run and that's it that that's the integration you've got here and obviously as i'm typing code here so oops i don't know what int is int like that and you see again we're getting suggestions or tips or like that uh, i could go ahead and yeah so i'll do that all right, so we use var instead, i equals 42. I click that down. We head on back over here, and you will see, boom, automatic updates. So that is it. That is uh, the Godot game engine integration with Project Rider. Roger is really kind of positioning itself as being the IDE of choice for game development, and uh, yeah, I'm impressed. So let me know what you think of working with uh IDEs such as uh, Rider with the Godot game engine. Are you using Visual Studio Code itself or are you actually working primarily in the editor over here? When it comes to C Sharp work, I use entirely in an editor. I was using uh, Visual Studio Code primarily and the integration wasn't quite as nice as what I found with Rider, to be honest. I like Rider's. Um, I like how easy it was to set up Rider. But again, I will link the Visual Studio Code uh, walkthrough as well. Shows basically the same thing we did in this video, just with Visual Studio Code, how to link the two products together. Um, give me your opinion. After watching both, which one do you think was the smoother, easier integration? Uh, again, when it comes to things like IDEs, it's really a matter of opinion. We all have different uh, approaches to these kind of things. We all have uh, different likes and dislikes. So it's almost like choosing a religion when it comes to choosing an IDE. It's a very personal, and obviously we all have our own opinion there. But if you're looking for something that fit you nicely, Rider and Godot Game Engine work quite nice together. And going forward, Rider is going to work with Unreal Engine, and Rider currently works quite nicely with Unity. All right, so that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.